the day of uncertainty for the victims of the Franklin County wildfire. Many of them still living in a shelter tonight, not knowing how they will be able to recover from the loss of their homes. News 13's Alex Thorson joins us live from the scene of Sunday's fire. Alex, what are you hearing from the victims today? Hey, Jerry, as we've neared the end of the week, more problems are coming to light. One victim told me that the state gave her money for temporary housing, but she wasn't able to find any vacancies for she and her dog. Overall, though, victims tell me that they can't wait to get their lives started again. Days after fire took 36 homes from their owners, many victims are still homeless. In my, my car. Thursday and Friday, Florida's chief financial officer Jimmy Petronas's team helping victims fill out paperwork to receive up to $5,000 per home for expenses like temporary housing, clothing, food, and pet care. I guess the state's going to step in, so it looks looking up, you know. So that's a good. They said they're trying to get some help and get things going, but they couldn't give me a time limit. Many people upset that Governor Rick Scott did not declare a state of emergency. If this isn't a disaster, you tell me what is. Yeah. It's kind of premature for that because a lot of times the executive order declaring a state of emergency means that additional law enforcement, additional resources for other things can come in here. We don't need that. All that's under control. What we need now is money to replace homes. Governor Scott's office issued a statement with other resources for the victims. I totally believe that it's because it's poor people and mobile homes mostly that they don't care. Sheriff Smith says that talk isn't true. Nothing to do with who's poor or who's rich. Many people still staying at the East Point Church of God with friends and family and anywhere they can lay their heads for the night. Because my burnt down, I have nothing left. Many of these people are eager to get their lives started again, and I'm not sure if you can see very much behind me, but what's left of these homes still stands there. Now, a lot of people have been asking, when can we, you know, move back into our lots? And Sheriff Smith told, tells me that they're moving as quickly as possible, but he doesn't have an exact date. Back to you. Alex Thorson live in East Point tonight. Thank you, Alex. The chief financial officer's team will be at the Franklin County Sheriff's Office from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. tomorrow to help people with their insurance claims.